For today, you'll need a story you've been working on and somebody to read it to, either a grown-up, a sibling, or a toy or stuffed animal. When I read my writing to someone, I need to think about what stories my pictures tell. When I write my story, I include characters and I'm thinking about what's happening and what the characters do and say. When I read my writing, I can make it sound like a story. I won't just read it like this. This is me. This is the guy behind me. These are the clouds in the sky. This is the market. This is the lady at the front letting us in. I could say it like it's a story. One day, I decided to go to the market called Ralph's. There was a line outside. People were waiting with shopping carts in between them. At first, I didn't want to wait, but then I realized there were clouds in the sky, so it wasn't going to be too sunny. Then, the woman at the front said, I'll let the next three people in, so I got to go in with the two people behind me and do our shopping. Could you hear the difference? When I say what my characters do and say, it sounds like a story. Now it's your turn. Read your story to someone. Make sure you tell them what the characters are doing and saying to make it sound like a real story. Record yourself reading your story or post a picture of your story on Seesaw.